I started my career uh, in machining tech school. So while I was going to high school, I'd split the day and go half tech school, half high school. While I was developing my career, I was diagnosed with scoliosis, a curvature of your spine, and I needed spinal fusion to correct that. My spine was broken, uh, it was fused with the rods to keep the correction uh, uh, permanent. Uh, all the hardware that uh, uh, was in my body are the same parts we're making on our machines now. Mike, hey, good to see you. Welcome to Have Kevin Awesome, Shaman. awesome. This is my brother Brian. Hey, Brian. Nice to meet you. So it's a family business? Absolutely. My dad's outside working on machines right now. MK Precision, yep. making precision components out of titanium that actually go into your body. Sure, I've had parts myself, yep. You guys are making it right here in Pennsylvania. Absolutely. And now I can't wait to show the viewers this incredible facility that you guys have. You guys got machines on this side, you got machines on this side. You want to be a success, you want to achieve, you do your best in bringing up your children. I have succeeded with all three. And when they ask me, what do I want yet in life? I already have it all. Machines just stacked in lines all the way down. Floor is clean. You can eat off it. Thanks, man. I don't recommend it, but you can. Yeah, that's awesome. Where's well, medical, right? It's yep. also a clean room. It's gotta yep. be clean. So Mike, you were working at other machine shops. Right. Right? Yep. And then you just decided to go out on your own? How did it all happen? The only way to do it was to go all the way. Grab the machines, throw them in my dad's barn. I had to talk him into a loan. Every day I had a team of Clydesdales and I used to have to go out and clean up. So Mike would come out and help me clean up the fields with the tractor and the shovel until I finally said yes. I had to hire my brother, I trained him up. I talked Mike into going into trade school to get started. So I wanted him to kind of like follow the same path. And that's how it all started. 10 years ago, we, we started the business in our barn. Here we are 10 years later with 40 machines. You guys are making a great product, titanium products. Yep, absolutely. We know the pain that's caused without it, and we know what you need to go through to get it. And it adds another little bit of excellence to what we send out the door because we know what it does. So if you have like heart issues or spine issues, or if you need implants, there's a good chance that those parts, those titanium parts, are being manufactured right here at MK Precision. Absolutely. One of our big OEMs is global, so we're, we're worldwide. Boom. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Let's go look at a shot. Cool. Automation doesn't mean less jobs. When you have the machines doing the work, you get the ability to uh, bring more creativity in. Now we have the ability to have 40 machines with that same staff, because now we can have one guy running three or four different machines. It hones the workforce. So you guys have your raw material comes in. Yep. You guys cut it yourself. Yes. And then bring it out to the machines. Yep. And just make it happen. Yeah, we try to attack everything in a five axis mentality as much as possible because we really try to optimize the, the two operations. The more times you touch, the more room there is for error. So yeah. if we have an option to do something in five axis, even if it's just a square with four holes in it, we set it up that way just for the repeatability and how, how easy it is to manufacture. As much as you can get in one operation. Yep. Absolutely. Manufacturing is a, is a constant learning trend. The more you learn, the more you can adapt, the more you can add to your processes, the faster you can get your parts out, the more happy your customer is going to be with your company and the parts that you're providing to them. So your parts are going global, right? You're shipping all over the world. To be competitive, to keep your costs down, you guys are doing a lot of five axis work. We really tried to go after the swivel five axis, bar fed mills, just for the simple fact that we can load an inch and five eighths bar, three foot length, and this bar will literally run for 48 hours unmanned. It'll run its own tool brake detection, so that way you, you don't even have to have an operator stand in front of it. It just runs awesome. nonstop, day in, day out. And it knows if it um, breaks the tool, yep. it'll go grab another tool running in its yep. place. Exactly. Awesome. 6L4V titanium. Yep. Yep. Aerospace grade, medical grade. Thanks. What exactly is it? Uh, it's a disc replacement. So if you have a herniated or bulging or degenerative disc, uh, that would be removed and that would be placed in its position. I see all these fine little detailed, like, Key cuts, yep. right? Dovetail cuts. What is the ribs for? So when you expand the device open, those little teeth are cutting into the vertebrae that they're touching to lock it in position so that it doesn't slip out. So they're just teeth locking into your bone. Yep. yep. Holding it in place. Think of like a neural pattern. Wow. Absolutely love what you guys are doing there. Thanks, man. So doing it big. Thanks. Yes. Let's show you a few more things. <laughs> awesome. We really like to go after the complicated parts to make. For anybody that thinks American manufacturing is dead, feel free to knock on our door and come in and take a tour. Titan, check this out. So here's one of our many bone scrapers, right? So this is a combination Swiss and then a fourth axis mill part. So the Swiss blank will give us this, and then we fixture this into the haas on a fourth axis, and then spin it around, get the profiles cut in, get the sharp edge on that, check that one out. 
And this just. That's what you're supposed to do. the bone. Away. Yep. Ooh, it's, it's, almost, it's almost eerie and, and it's so sharp. So at MK Precision, we make the implant devices, but we also need to make the instruments as well to perform the surgery. So when a doctor needs to go and place that implant uh, in position, if there's bone in the way, you use a bone scraper. And with a couple good wraps on the end of it, you'll knock that bone out of position and let you slide that implant in position. Much like the bone scraper, this is a curette. It's the same type of device, but it's for a little bit more delicate work a little bit more detailed work down inside cavities where you can feed it down into a little pocket and pull a little bit of bone out on the inside without having to use something as, as large as the other bone chisel. If you ask me how to stay competitive uh, in an American manufacturing environment, I would put it all on technology. You, you have to have the top tools in the shop. You have to have the fastest machines. All right, Titan, so what we have here, this is our new Haas UMC 750 SS. So what we did was we went ahead, designed up this fixture in our CAD system. What we have here now is an eight-sided fixture that holds 24 parts that That's are awesome. 17 minutes a piece. So you just load it up, load it up first start, thing in the morning, run walk it, walk away, come it back runs all day. Pull a piece off, put it through first article again, load 24 pieces back up. As long as it's done by 4, 4 30, hit the button before we leave, get another eight hours. Runs all night, time. load it two times. Yep. That's awesome. So the theory that we've developed over the years here at NK Precision is long run times. Fixturing and multiple parts is definitely the way to go to stay on top of your game and keep everybody satisfied. All right, Titan, so this is our Swiss machining side. There's a dozen machines over here. This is our automatic cell. They run all day, all night. We try to work down to the smallest nominal number on your print to make the best quality parts in American manufacturing that we can for your in-body implants to never fail and always work the way they're designed to work.